Will we get a tropical storm or hurricane this week all the way through Father's Day? Let's talk tropics. First off, we have plenty of warm water. Anywhere you see the red color, that shows you temperatures right on the surface of the ocean to be at least 80 degrees. That's the threshold that you even need to sustain or create hurricanes or, or tropical storms. So we've got warm water in place. Really got to watch out where you even have warmer water. See some of these darker reds and pink colors? That's where we have readings of 82, 83 degrees. In fact, in the Gulf of Mexico, we have a lot of readings around 82 degrees right now. And we're running about one to two degrees warmer than we should be. So ocean water temperatures, check. They are warm enough. But you also got to keep an eye on where they are the warmest. Notice in the Southern Caribbean, we're really noticing a pretty good pocket of some warmer water and then also some warmer water in the Gulf of Mexico. You get out in the middle of some of these open waters, it gets a little bit cooler. Another thing we got to look at is dust. We've got a lot of dust coming in from Africa. Many of these plumes headed westbound across the Atlantic. Dust and hurricanes, they don't mix well. However, notice when we get breaks between these rounds, that's where you got a chance. Notice the time, Thursday into Friday, we have a chance where we could see some warm ocean waters, less dust. That would be the one area that we could have a potential, maybe some tropical development. But at least closer to the United States shoreline, we're going to have a lot of dust for the next couple of days. In fact, a lot of folks in the southern United States are going to have these kind of muted sunsets, a little bit extra brown, maybe kind of a muted orange color there right towards sunset just because of the extra dust. And then, of course, it's super hazy thanks to all the humidity. But a lot of dust coming in. Of course, dust is normal. But what we do is we try to track where these dust plumes are and where the breaks are. But it does look like we have a break later in the week. And that's one thing that the National Hurricane Center is also noticing. Notice here in the Southern Caribbean, we got a good break there by the end of the week. And because of that break, we have that chance for maybe some tropical development. There's a 40% chance north of Panama, kind of hugging, hugging the coast of Central America there on the, the eastern coast, anywhere from about Cozumel and Cancun, southbound to Nicaragua, and just north of Panama. This is our best chance of any kind of development. But as it hugs close to the, some of the terrain, in Central America, most likely this is just going to be a lot of heavy rain. If there is any development, it may just hug along the coast and eventually just erode but dump a lot of water. There's just a lot of water falling right now in Central America and in South America, right there in the northern part towards Venezuela and Colombia. But if we keep our eyes where we have that pocket of some open, warm water without the dust, this is where we could see some development later this week. But at least for the next three days, fine, you know, all the way through the rest of the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, fine. It's by Thursday, Friday, that if we can keep this open water warm without dust, we could notice some development, but you see how it's pretty messy still. As long as it hugs the coast, it's going to be hard for something to really develop into a major storm system, but we could see some tropical storm development there in the Caribbean Sea, hugging the coast in Mexico, and then maybe getting into the Gulf of Mexico. But at least for the next several days, all the way through Father's Day, there should not be a threat to the continental United States.